when it comes to fear, you have nothing to fear but fear itself. Hey, cute people. Happy March. I know I haven't been here in quite some time, but I really wanted to do this video because what I'm going to talk a little bit about has been heavy, heavy on my heart and on my mind. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because, to be honest, this video is more for me than it is for you. But it's about fear. Yeah. The last video I'm, I did, I mentioned that I hadn't been here for a while because I was going through a little something in my life and I wanted to, you know, get through that and so I can come back and make videos and just be my regular old self because I do enjoy doing it and I enjoy the interaction and so forth. So again, I'm looking for some interaction here with you guys just to talk about fear, how you may overcome it. I find in my old age, because I'm half a century, I like saying that, but I find in my old age that I have done quite a lot of things because of fear. Mm -hmm. I think recently, in the last year or two, I realized that fear will kill you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, will bring you to your knees, literally kill you. And I say that because... There's no need to fear anything. It's a strong emotion. I know it's a strong emotion, but it's one that you really have to fight through, get the strength from somewhere, because you can conquer your fear. You can learn to have the courage you need to to do the things that you want to do in life. I know when I speak to my mother about fear, she always tells me, get rid of it, let it go, because God does not want you to fear. He does not want you to be fearful, frightful, Always have faith. Keep faith, and faith will bring you food. And I do believe that. I know some people have fears that we can see, like some people are afraid of clowns, maybe flying plane, or you know, um, I should say flying any plane. Some people have a fear of dogs. I come to respect people's fears, whatever they may be, because I want someone to respect my. I don't care for big dogs. I have a fear of big dogs. Respect that, right? I do think that we have to overcome it. First, you have to realize that you have a fear, whatever it is. But more, for me, my fears tend to be things that may hold me back from doing what I really want to do. I come from the school of, well, my parents come from the school of, I guess that would be me too, that um, you have to work hard, make a living. Make a living and work hard, pretty much. I didn't come from the school of have dreams, make your dreams come true, watch them go true, come true. And I think that's something that you will find in my videos quite often because I would love for everybody to realize their dreams, especially young people, people who aren't on the path um, that they want to be on or on a path to whatever they're going to do for the rest of their lives. I always tell them, you have right now to... Get over your fears, reach some goals, just go for it. So if I sit back and I think about the fear that I have, really, you know, fear is just the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen, right? So I do have fears of that, but more or less the fears that other people control over me than I do over myself, if that makes sense. Like, whatever it is that I want to do, if it takes me to do it, then I know I'm going to be okay because either I'm going to fail or I'm going to succeed. My fear comes from knowing that my success or whatever it is that I want will come from somebody else. And then I get fearful whether they'll give it to me, it'll work out the way I want it to, and that may stop me from doing things that I want to do. I remember years ago I wanted to be a police officer. Now that's not true. I didn't want to be a police officer, but like I told you, I come from the school of you got to have a job. So if they're hiring, put an application, hopefully you get a job. I remember telling people that I didn't want to do that with my children. I didn't want them as soon as they got out of high school. I'm giving them applications for corrections, the police department, fire department, transit or sanitation and whatever. People look at me like, why would you not want to do that? Because I don't want my children to feel as if this is what they have to do in order to live. And you can't do anything else but this because to me that brings about a fear because you're not teaching them to dream. Teach your kids to dream. You saw that video, right? 
But I really do feel that when you are frightful, you're not going to get anything in life that you want. You have to really be able to take life by the balls. Yeah, take it by the balls and just swing on it. Wherever you land is where you land. So if I have to say, how do you conquer fear? Just do it. There may be a 10-point checklist, do this, do that, do this, do this, after you realize what your fear is and why you're fearful of it. Okay, so you may be fearful of, let's say, for instance, you're not Lupita Nyong'o, who is now an Oscar winner, so you're not her, and you want to act, but your fear is that you won't make it. Well, if you don't realize that you have a fear of not going forth and doing something that you want to do. If you don't realize what your fear is and go on and just do it, you'll never accomplish those goals. And then you may be a 50-year-old woman, a 60-year-old woman, regretting the fact that you didn't knock down the wall in your mind and go on and do whatever it was that you wanted to do, plain and simple. I mean, just be scared to be fearful, period. Because if you're scared to be fearful, then you won't be fearful. You'll be fearless. And once you're fearless, all those things you want to do, you'll just accomplish. I feel that, you know, in life, one thing I can tell you I don't worry about, which I like about myself, I don't really care or worry about what other people think of me. I do worry about how I can come off as being less than I know that I am to other people that I am fearful of. But if you don't like me or you don't think I'm as smart as you or you don't think, of, you know, I don't do this as well as you do, I don't really get off on that. I never really have. And I think that bothers a lot of people because they're like, okay, well, if you feel that way about yourself, then you must feel you're better than other people. I don't. I think that's where your fear will leave you. Mm -hmm. Think about the things that are important to you and how you're going to accomplish them, and then look at the fear that you may have for reaching it and just knock it out the box, kid. Just knock it out the box. So like I said, even though I'm doing this video and I'm going to upload it, to me it's more for myself because this is a lesson that I need to learn right now. There's some things that I want to do, not things as far as... um how I'm going to live the rest of my life, not that type of fear, but a type of fear of something I need to rectify like right now, like right now for my very existence and I'm not doing it, you know, um, and it's really just fear that's holding me back because it's someone else who's going to control the outcome and I don't really like that. I think that's the only way fear gets to me and then what I have to do um and I guess talking to you guys right now through the camera makes me realize that the only thing I can do is just go on and do it whatever obstacle or answer I get that I don't like I'll just go around it I mean I've done it before with other things we all have and I'll just have to continue to do that but the one thing I'd have to say to overcome any fear that you have is just conquer it. Do it. You know, if you're afraid. Now, if you're afraid of dogs, I'll say, you know, because I told you before, anything that someone else would have to control, I don't really get next to. So a dog, if you're scared of a dog or an alligator or a snake and it doesn't have anything to do with your job, then you can definitely stay away from it. But things that um you want to accomplish in, in your life, you want to do, just go on and do it. You, you know, if you have to do something that pertains to another person, just go on and do it. Because whatever answer you get, if you don't like it, you can always try another route. And like I said, that's always been something that always knocks me over the head. Other people. And their control over my life. Help yourself get over the fear that you have that locks your life and keeps you in one place. Mm -hmm. It keeps you in one place that will not let you grow and become the person that you want to be. Not need to be. 
Because a lot of us do things that we need to do, you know, and not what we want to do. And that's what I was saying before about, you know, coming from the school that I come from, you got to have a job, you got to work and support your family. And that was it. You got to work to pay bills. You know, um, many people that I knew in my family didn't work because they had a job or a hobby or a vocation or something that they loved doing. They did it because they had to work. And that can be, you know, that can stop you, stunt your growth too, because that may not be what you want to do. Sometimes it may take you 10, 15, 20 years before you really realize that you are not happy. So another thing I have to say is live for yourself. Live for yourself and be your fears. Knock them out. Don't let your fears stop you from being the best that you can, from doing the things that you want to do, from realizing your dreams. Because again, what I was saying about Napita, Lapita, Noango, I always want to say Napita, Luongo, changed the letters in her name. But if she had been fearful, she never would have been come, become such the beautiful lady that she is, who is now an Oscar winner, an Academy Award winner. And I don't know if I told you guys before, but I'll say it again. Dreams mean a lot to me. One day I'll tell you really, really why. But dreams and goals mean a lot to me. And fear has no place in this equation. Y'all, no place in this equation. So I'm not really talking about the fear of an animal, the fear of heights. I'm really talking about the fear in your life that keeps you from becoming the best you that you can be so I'm just talking about the fear that keeps you prisoner and locked in your own mind to make you believe that you cannot do the things that you want to do and then I say what you need to do is shut it down and just go forth and do it what is your fear what makes you fearful of it? And how are you going to overcome it? So dream, set a goal for yourself, and let fear come nowhere near the things that you want to do for yourself. And like I said, and I'll say it again, this video was really more for myself, for me, than it is for you. But um, I hope in my speaking, I hope that I really, really helped somebody. And if I didn't, you have a question, you want to, want to ask something of me, you definitely can. I'm open to all comments, suggestions, inquiries, whatever. So I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next. And especially when I get um, some readers that are not broke and won't be lopsided. <laughs> so once again, thank you for stopping by to watch this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next. And I want you to share and spread love. Hey cute people, subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.